Hi, this is Ethan from EasyRibbons.com, and this video is a continuation of our last video where we went over how to install your thermal printer as well as setting up some printer preferences. So if you've yet to see that video, be sure to check it out on our YouTube page. But if you have seen that video, then welcome to part two where we'll be going over how to set up your word processors to be compatible with the printer as well as some page preferences. So the word processor that I'm going to be using today is LibreOffice. However, if you have a word processor such as OpenOffice or Microsoft Word, they're very similar to LibreOffice, so you should be able to follow along. So we're going to open up LibreOffice, select Next Document. Now this is the standard page when you boot up LibreOffice, and we're going to be making changes to it under Format and then Page. However, if you're using Microsoft Word, you'll find your page preferences under File towards the bottom of the drop-down menu. But if you're using OpenOffice or LibreOffice, then you'll find them under Format and then Page. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to want to do when this box pops up under Page is adjust the orientation from Portrait to Landscape before you do anything else. Now go up to Format select user. Your width should be 22 for the number 40 ribbon and your height should be 2.75. Down to your margins. We're not going to be using a left margin or a right margin and the top for the number 40 ribbon should be set to 0.15 and the bottom should be set to 0.1. Once all of those are set, if you look up here in the preview box, you should see that the box should look like a ribbon, how you're going to print it out of your machine. If you've done all of these numbers correctly, it should appear just like that. Now we hit apply, yes, and finally OK. And now you'll see that the page on the main page has changed to look just like that. That's what you want to aim for if everything has been adjusted correctly. So now, if we were to go and print this just like this, we would go to File and Print, where we'll be able to access additional printer properties. So we're going to be adjusting our Easy Ribbons Easy 16 printer. And when you boot, when you boot yours up, you'll see that it looks different from this. It looks like a standard piece of paper, something similar to that. So you'll want to change that. You'll go to Properties, and under Stock, there will be a drop-down menu here where you can go to this user box, and then edit that. And make sure that the numbers for your label size, width, and height are just like this. 2.75 inches for width, and 22 inches for the height, and then zero for the left and right exposed liner width. And if we hit OK, and then OK again, making sure that for the user it's 2.75 inches by 22 inches, we are ready to print. And so if you would have text up here, I'll go up and give you an example. Typically what we use for a font on LibreOffice with this setup is around a font of 135 or so. So you see how that fills up this space and with the margins it puts it in the middle. I have Times New Roman here. I'll just be using Lighthouse for example. And let's say to do a promotional ribbon for our website, easyribbons.com. If you see, you go up here to File, and then Print. Under Easy Ribbons, it'll come out just like that, centered, with a little at the beginning and a little bit at the end. If you're set into the middle, if we hit OK, 
fingerprint job comes out perfectly. So that's everything that you need to know. If you were to go now and you want to use this as a template, you could save it just like this. I'm just using enter text here as an example. You could simply get rid of that, change the fonts, and put whatever message you wanted for your ribbons. All you have to do is go to save as, and save it as the number 40 ribbon template, and you can save that right to your desktop here, and have it to be able to be opened up right from here. So every time you go into your word processor, you can go ahead and just change the text and get ready to print your ribbons just like that. In our next video, we'll be going over where to download fonts, what fonts work best with your word processor and the, and the ribbon printer, and also how to add images for a little extra flair, or if you want to add logos to promote businesses and things like that as sort of a watermark, we'll be going over things like that. But thank you very much, and I hope that this video was helpful, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.